first. Hey, I Hi. just found out about you the other day. Boom. Can you hear me? How, how'd you how'd you find us? Which is what which is what you guys always need to ask too when somebody finds you. If I if I said to you, Jody, I just saw your art the other day. Immediately, where'd you see me? Right? Always ask. So where'd you find me? Are you marketing on uh, Facebook ads or YouTube ads? Yes, all of the above. Okay, it's one of those that I awesome. saw you on. Awesome. So I'm a marketer and an okay. artist. So okay. I do. Uh, I basically I it with COVID I was lucky enough to pull my art out of a gallery in January before oh, COVID just timing. because I had a bad relationship timing. and I, yeah. it was awesome. And you know, they closed in March and I was mm. like, I'm not paying rent. I'm not doing anything. So I pivoted and helped people get online. Like mm -hmm. I basically became everybody's go-to person for zoom, getting everybody on zoom. By so the now way, how good was that timing too? Whoa. It was perfect timing because yeah. I, I was like, nobody's wasting any time. Nobody's thinking we're just going. Yeah. And um, so now it's my time to go back to my art mm -hmm. and do this for myself. I saw your, your ad. I'm like, huh, I'll check you out. Awesome. And so I'm listening to you. I just want to say, because I'm in the marketing space, mm -hmm. I'm like, I love what you are saying. I will follow you to the moon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I really appreciate it. So, so I, I mean, I hear what you're saying. I'm like, thank you for organizing my mind mm -hmm. around what I need to do for myself because I'm always organizing everybody else for their benefit. And I'm, I just read uh, who, not how mm -hmm. you're my new who. I love it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take that. That's, so a, that's a I, profound how compliment. Do we start working, how do we start working with you? That's my big question. Yeah. The, you, you know, it's so funny because um, one of the things that we like don't publicize is we have, an in-house marketing agency for our customers. I hate it, okay? I wish the thing didn't exist because to a marketer, it's that whole, you know, to a hammer, everything looks like a nail, right? Like yeah, I want every yeah. one of my customers to like learn marketing and I'm always teaching it because I'm passionate about it. And I think it's without question, it's the single solitary biggest problem that all artists and photographers uh, struggle with. But I've come to realize that 80% of our customers have full-time jobs, right? And so there's just, they're never gonna be able to give me the hours that I want. And so where I'm going with that is, as we sort of evolved as as a business at Art Store Friends, one of the things that we've realized is like, in addition in addition to everything that we teach on marketing, there's 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 actually like, a where are you at in your journey plan? Okay, and I believe that every single solitary artist needs to be following it. Every single solitary photographer needs to be following it, and so we've literally turned it into like. You know, it, 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 it's yes, it's a service in our agency, but even more than like a service in our agency, it's also like the plan that we're asking all our customers to follow. We call it the marketing assistant light plan. And what it really speaks to is it speaks to like, there is no one size fits all advice, right? And this is, this is your question that spurred me on it. Like, it, w w w there was never a class in art school, there was never a class in photography school that says, how do you start? What is the plan to run a creative business? And what do you focus on at each stage of the game until you get there, right? So our contention is like, this is just like the whole thing is like a mind map, right? Like step by step. I'm gonna go through it super quick at a high level. Is your website live? If it's not, no, we get you live. And, and each one of these yes, no's is Gandalf, like you shall not pass until you finish it, right? Next, does your website meet best practices? Okay, I want you to quickly audit yourself on this. Do you have price points on your site under $100? Do you have price points on your site from $100 to $1,000? Do you have price points well above $1,000? Absolutely important. All artists, all photographers need a combination of open editions, limited editions, and originals. Those price points and having that price point variability allows you to have something to sell to everyone that's on the socioeconomic bell curve, okay? Lower mm -hmm. middle class, middle class, upper middle class, high net worth individuals. So many artists and photographers only have price points to speak to one little portion of that bell curve. And then they go out and they do their marketing. And there's all these other people that love what they're doing but can't afford it because you don't have a price for them, right? And, and it's so important. That's why you need to activate merchandise, okay? I was so anti-merchandise for so long, and then I, and I get all the arguments. It's crap. It's low margin. Uh, it's going to cheapen my work. Tell me the last museum you've been to that doesn't have a gift shop. They all do um, for a reason, yeah. right? So you need to turn on um, order bumps and one-click upsells. We can get into that. You need to take commissions onto your work. We can get into that. You need to have samples of all the media types that you sell on hand, by which I mean an entire stack. And I'll show the stack in a second, okay? Let's say that's done. Next step, do you meet these social media best practices, okay? 
And I isolate this to Instagram and I isolate this to Instagram for a reason because Instagram, primarily Facebook to a secondary extent, is the credit check for artists. Like, you know, when we find out about like a cool item, like a new kitchen knife or something, and you're like, okay, I'm going to go into mm-hmm. Amazon and I'm going to go look at the reviews and see what the reviews say. Is this thing cool or not? When I get sucked into an artist ecosystem, the first thing that I go and do is I look at the Instagram profile. And if you haven't met the minimum credibility threshold there, you need to have a minimum amount of followers. You need to have a decent post breakup and makeup that's not all 2D images, you holding the works and videos. You need to have the story highlights in place. If you don't have that, you don't pass the credibility gap. And instantaneously, it's gonna, you're gonna find it harder and harder and harder to make sales, right? So we have a whole service from that. And then- well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pause you for a second. Yeah. I have to go off camera because I have to jump on a client call with yeah, on yeah. Zoom. Yeah, you're fine. So I'm gonna re-watch this and I really appreciate everything you're offering because I'm going to be one of those 90% people who follow what you say. Yes. And and you will get results. You will get results. Thank you. Thank you, Jetty. Um, and someone asked me in the chat, how many followers do you need at a minimum? There's no hard and fast rule. Um, Lisa was asking me that. There's no like 100% hard and fast rule. I, I, I sort of throw out there like I like to see 250 at a minimum, but it's not just 250. Like you need 250 and you need a bunch of posts. Okay. And I can talk about the, what, the, what the proper post breakdown and makeup um, should look like, and, and then we can get into that. Um, but go ahead, Victor, you're next, and then I'll come Alan, and then and then we'll go from there. Hello. Hey. Uh, well, I guess I, I found you on, I believe it was Facebook. Awesome. Uh, and uh, I really like what you're saying. It's, it's excellent, right on time. Awesome. Uh, I, I used to, uh, with COVID, I um, uh, I was with a, an organization mm-hmm. that was dealing with uh, kids and we switched from, um, well, having to go to uh, different places to see kids uh, face-to-face where COVID stopped all of that. Uh, they uh, started a Zoom presence mm-hmm. and and from that, they were able to keep things going. Yep. And uh, so... The, the whole concept of uh, transitioning from uh, uh, out, uh, what do you want to say, um, from a store storefront to a Zoom front, mm-hmm. uh, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, is the uh, where everybody's going. I mean, if yeah. you don't have that, then uh, uh, along with the hard line, whatever it is that you're doing, you're missing out because that's where yeah. uh, everybody is uh, exposing themselves to and getting used to. But also, also, um, it's it's important to break it down. Like in the in the presentation, I talked about you have to have all three, right? Yeah. Like if you can sell in person, you sell in person. Next best thing, without question, video. And by the way, some of the smartest artists and photographers that we have at our company, they have, they have their entire, for lack of a better term, sales funnel. It's, it sounds a little weird saying that in the art context for just getting qualified people into a one on one Zoom. That's it. They don't even want to sell on their website. All they want to do is just, you know, this is especially important for like the higher ticket folks because selling on Zoom is so damn effective. It is so close, Victor, to the real thing. And I mean, you've been doing a bunch of them, you know. And then not only that, like where would you be in in knowing what we do, our storefronts as a business, or getting close to no like and trust us if we weren't on video, right? Like what I have to be emailing you for the next two months. I email already too much. And then maybe I get you to read a couple of blog posts and then maybe you decide to talk to somebody on the phone or you get right into a video chat and it's like, let's hash it out right now, right? You can decide whether or not like, you know, no like and trust. And it's no, it's no different for you guys, right? Like you and I are having right. a chat. You're telling me about your work. All of a sudden I hear a bark and you're like, oh, sorry, that's my dog. And I was like, what kind of dog do you have? And, and then I'm like, I'm a dog person too. And now we're bonding right. over dogs. And it's like, now I'm that yep. much closer to like, you know, doing business with you. So it's just, guy, it's so, it's so important. It's so important. But anyway, sorry to, sorry to interrupt you. It's okay. Uh, uh, well, this is, this is my um, uh, personal, uh, I say, hard spot with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm a visionary. I'm a creator. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, basically, you know, just like, and this is the extreme of this, Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson was uh, at his place, in his place, being the creator, and they had, he had a management team and everybody else doing all the other stuff, and he was just being the creator. Yes. And and then being put on stage and doing his art. Well, that's kind of the same thing with me. 
Um, but I, uh, and, and the other thing I have ADD mm -hmm. and, uh, so, so for me to get out and actually apply some of the things that you're talking about, uh, I need assistance, mm -hmm. uh, because, uh, you know, I'm short in my focus Mm -hmm. And when I do focus, it's just like the download comes and it's an art, you know, uh, essence. Mm -hmm. And my art isn't a, 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 a portrait, you know, uh, uh, I'm not a painter. Yeah. Uh, so I do uh, 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 poet, poetry and I do, um, I'd say, spontaneous art. And so... Uh, to use that in this format, there's different uh, critiquing, but uh, I need uh, assistance in uh, uh, someone working with me and tracking me to get from where I'm at to where I want to be. So uh, what is your recommendation? And I, I would look forward to uh, talking with you uh, more in this regard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think I think a lot of people struggle with what you're talking about. Right. And, you know, oftentimes with not wanting to do the marketing, step one is realizing you have a struggle there. Step two is realizing that if it's the, th the one thing you want to do the least, it's probably the highest leverage thing you could do in the business. Right. So you kind of have to hack at it. We could we could give you a, we could give you a great plan and, and teach you how to follow the plan. But some of the execution you would have to do. And it's like, you know, it's a, it, it's a, it's such a chicken and egg situation with artists. Right. And this is why I rant and rave about how much I despise the gallery model. Because if I pulled everyone on this call right now, 99% would say they don't want to do any marketing. All they want to do is just create and let somebody handle all the business and, and, and the business and marketing and selling. They just want to create and, and go be creative. And I totally get that. And deep down, that's everyone's truth. Like that's just what they want in, in the situation, right? And so the gallery model arose to, to fulfill that need. All you have to do is create, I'll do everything else. The problem is, is they take 50% and they don't tell you who's purchasing your work, right? So you never know. And so that, I mean, it's like a tenant farmer relationship. Like you might get a roof over your head and a couple of meals and a couple of bucks here or there, but when it ends, all you're leaving with is your shirt on your back, you got nothing. So I, I really don't like it in that capacity. But you have to do the marketing, you have to do the business a little bit. That's what we teach all year long and once you once you gig at it and you start doing it, you're in a good spot. But again, that's why the galleries exist because you could hire somebody right now, Victor, but you don't have fifty thousand dollars a year to go pay somebody to do all this for you, right? Like you know, the the business is not probably generating that to do that. So you have to do some of this stuff early on and, and grind it out. That's just how it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You notice I don't sugarcoat anything. The the the, the first year, like I, I I believe that this industry at a macro is going through its, its, its blockbuster Netflix moment, its taxi cab Uber moment. And while I think it's never been a better time to be an artist, you know, you, you don't need anyone else to control your distribution. You can do it all from your home. Uh, you can keep 100% of the revenue. That doesn't mean it's easy. That's, you still have to do the marketing and get the word out there, right? So mm. we, we can help you. You should, you, should, you should go see a demo, which is like it drives through all the solution and everything that we have on offer. Um, there's buttons all over our website. April will throw them in the chat and then, and then they'll kind of give you a, a different perspective on it than me, but we can help you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Here. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's going to go Alan and Kimberly, and then I'm going to come back to these questions in the chat. Uh, Alan, you're up next. Yeah. Hi. Um, I've been doing photography for 40 years. Okay. Um, it wasn't my main business. Mm -hmm. And so I've been doing it mostly for fun. I, I have little things here and there. Okay. But I retired about eight months ago. Congrats. And uh, I'm going to be doing photography the rest of my life. Yeah. You know, and I figure I, was, I may as well try to create something from it. I mean, for me, the word that comes to my mind is actualization. Mm -hmm. I actually, it was in the Mas, Maslow uh, pyramid. Yeah, yeah. You know, there, there's something about actually selling my work that is validating. And I haven't really actualize myself in that way so mm -hmm. i started working with an art coach last week and she's really hot on you guys so i've been i've looked at a couple of your videos mm -hmm. um i reached out this morning nate clinton gave me a call i missed the call but i'm going to be talking to him about a demo okay so one thing my art co coach told me is i need to totally revamp my website 
she mm -hmm. said it's not a very good website. I have a lot of work on it, but I haven't updated in two years because I really haven't cared that much about selling. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now I'm revamping my website and I'm looking at e-commerce possibilities. Mm -hmm. I'm so I'm I'm trying to juggle a couple of things. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go with you guys, and uh, if I do, then do I need to just have a website with a link to art storefronts, or no, do we you would, guys do the whole thing? Yeah, we, yeah, we would take over your other website because I mean the current website's not doing anything for you, right? If it's not doing anything no, for you, no. what's the point? It's um, not designed to. Yeah. Do, do do you know what I love? Like side tangent, by the way, is that you know. I love marketing, right? And I love my job. Don't get me ready. But when I'm retired, I am not doing it anymore. Okay. I'm, I've run the race. I'm done. The thing that I just love about like the creatives is like, I'm super hot. I mean, this is just a quick tangent, but I'm super hot making sure late in life, like I have serious purpose, right? And like motivation to keep going. And that's one of the things that I love about like art or photography. It's like, you could literally do that until you can no longer press the button on the shutter. Right, you so you can no longer get out of the house, and even even if it's like you know you planned well for retirement, you don't need the money at all. There's something just awesome about having like the purpose, right, to like keep going and growing the business and cooking it and selling yeah. it and everything else. There's something that's just cool about that. You can do that for the rest of your life. Anyway, side tangent. Yeah, Nate will walk you through it. Can totally help you. You do need to revamp your website, but more importantly, you probably because it was somewhat of a hobby, you probably have a huge diverse range of subject material. You don't know which one's gonna sell, which one's gonna be best, which one you should lead with. And so we gotta get you into some selling situations immediately to find out which of your your probably expansive collection is resonating most with folks. And then and then you just start working out as a business like any, like anything else. And it'll 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 grow year after year after year. Well I, I've been on Instagram the last two years. I, I have almost thirty four hundred followers now and it's really helped me find my focus. Yeah, I've super done a helpful. lot of validation from folks there mm -hmm. and I find what people like. So I've been going towards a certain direction but, and but uh, Alan, I'm, careful I'm, careful on what people like until the almighty credit card comes out of the almighty one. Uh, right. Yes. Yeah, well, Yes. That to me is an alternate validation. So yeah, that's uh, the that's the that's really the only one that matters, right? Like I have I have this line that I say all the time because I, these are the variations that I get. People tell me my work is awesome that I should sell it all the time. Uh, the, the sheer amount of likes and comments and shares I get in my work is amazing. Uh, I've been in four juried art shows, or I won uh, a, a gold medal at the local photography concert, you, you know, contest in my local little area here, whatever it was. And I'm like, okay, great. Now let me come to your house. That's me knocking on the door. We're going to jump in the car. We're going to drive down to the ATM machine, and you show me on the ATM machine where it says likes, comments, and shares. You show me where everyone tells me my work is awesome, right? Where I was juried in an art show, or I won a photographic award. There is no button for that, right? And, and it's, it's important because the validation on socials are awesome, but it's a, it, it's a stepping stone to the only one that matters. And the only one that matters is will the work sell? And specifically, will the work sell to people not named mom, dad, brother, sister, family, friends? Okay, because they'll do anything for you because they love you. So it's when you sell to strangers that you realize, okay, I've got a product the market wants. All I have to do now is just get in front of more eyeballs and it'll sell and sell and sell and sell. So that's the ball game. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. They're important. They're 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 important steps. And and congrats on, on retirement. What did, what did you do your whole career? Just because I'm curious. What did I do in my other career? Uh huh. I've been I've been in the legal support business. Totally different. Yeah. Awesome though. It, it, I, retire, and, uh, it know, sounds, I, it sounds, sounds like an exciting place to retire. I don't necessarily need. I don't necessarily need to work, but mm -hmm. it'd be great to have a little extra income stream, and so that's one reason I'm doing this. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So awesome. Well, thanks, Adam. Great questions. And I'll make sure Nate calls you back. Don't worry. Um, okay, Kimberly's up next, and then I will get into the questions in the chat. Don't worry. Go ahead, Kimberly. Hey, thank you so much for um, having this webinar. So. Um, I am not on social media mm -hmm. much, um, even on my, my Facebook, I only post cute stuff about dogs and cats mm -hmm. usually. Mm -hmm. Um, so I am not l like a Instagram person and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I really was getting into what you were saying whenever you had that little chart and you said, this is Gandalf and don't pass this and yeah, yeah. whatever I I don't understand what you're talking about when it says like, uh, 
you know, like the different things that you need mm -hmm. on the Instagram. Do you have like any, like a blueprint or anything like that? that yeah, like, we do. We basically do. As it like lined up, I can follow directions. Um, I have a international education business and I teach classes on zoom all the time. And mm -hmm. I'm starting my YouTube channel with my own videos all education mm -hmm. but um i am just moving back from asia after being gone for 10 years and i'm trying wow. to revamp my life like re mm -hmm. <laughs> just just re-declare this is my life now and so i need to do something else to supplement what i'm doing online because obviously it's just a different ball game and so for sure. i was like you know what i'm gonna start painting again and selling my stuff again and i have found that online is where it's at but i am so like clueless on on getting in there for anything else besides education on that i've got that fine it's just mm -hmm. on this i am like a newbie completely well you're 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 not alone there just out of curiosity where in asia um so i lived in south korea and in in three different areas in in china amazing amazing uh, that's that's the story for another day, but I, 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 it's not yep, something I, I it's not something I hear usually. I in Shanghai, so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not something I hear usually. So I had to I had to, I had to go on it. Um, sure. Yeah, I, it, the good news is if you if you have sort of that technical acumen and skills already, it's like anything else, right? Like you know, you you start grinding at it, you start growing followers, you grow one at a time. It sucks early on, but that's just part of the process, and you get going. It's sort of what I was saying earlier. Some other people were asking like you know, a minimum credibility barrier on an Instagram page, right? And you notice with all the successful artists, they all seem to have a whole bunch of things in common, right? Like they're constantly feeding the Instagram stories and like doing everything they can to get engagement in there. When you when you look at these, these are called story highlights that are down below. You look at their bio, their bio is really tuned up with with everything that they're doing. And they obviously, obviously um, have like a, or oftentimes I should say have a, a link tree, this is sort of called a link tree, they look like a couple of different ways that, that have their high level links, right? And you scroll down through the posts and you look that there's like a large, a large variation. One of, it's not just 2D image after, this is a 2D image essentially, well, that's a video. You know, I, I, she's, she's really good at this. So this is a 2D image, right? And this is what most of you guys post all the time. It's just an image of the artwork in a square in Instagram. Well, guess what? Uh, uh, us normal layman, non-creative types cannot visualize like you guys, okay? You have to have the thing. And you have to be holding it up so that we can see what it is and see that it's real. And you see how she does a great job at this. Like she's constantly holding her art up and constantly seeing at the wall. And so the idea, the idea of the whole thing is like, if I got drawn into Courtney's ecosystem and I was immediately on this site, I would be like looking at this and I'd be like, okay, this gal is clearly going somewhere. Uh, she's creating a ton of work. Uh, people really seem to be responding to it. People are constantly buying it. I get to see her personality a little bit. Um, I get to see what she's really into. And instantaneously, I get, okay, I'm like, okay, what's the next step? Let me get, get me to that website and let me see what she's creating, right? But it, it, it doesn't need to overwhelm you. You don't have to have it overnight. And there's a bunch of steps and a bunch of things that we teach you to do along the way. So we can we could definitely help you, Kimberly. We could definitely help you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. My pleasure. Okay, I know I had a ton of active ones in the chat. I was going to start with one, and then Robin, I'll get to you. Where did you go? Oh yeah, Maxine. I was, so I was going to answer Maxine's question because it's a little bit longer winded. Um, will you unmute Maxine? Yeah. Hi. So, so the the um, OVRs, right? So snooty. Um, <laughs> the, the don't get hung up in like the what. It's just it's just you on video. It's just you on video talking about the work, holding the work, merchandising the work. So. You know, it, it, in, in a, I sort of like the way that I think about them. Are you more into cooking or golf? Or neither? Uh, cooking, if I had to pick one. Yeah, but yeah, but not, not, for, on not, for, yeah not, not super into it. Well, well, let's just stick with golf. So the game of golf, you have to have, you have, to have a, a, a bunch of different clubs in the bag, right, to hit all the various different shots. That's sort of the way that I like look at like the, the streaming. Like you have to be doing our process videos. You have to be just showing you out and about doing fun things occasionally. And I don't care what you had for breakfast, but show me some personality. And then you need to be saying like, here I am delivering a piece of work, right? Or here's a piece of work hanging to the art shows, to flash sales. Hey guys, I had an incredible Friday. As a result, these things in the store, 
20% off next 24 hours only. All you have to do is send me an Instagram DM, hit the website, da 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 da, da and go. So there's no, there's no like one size fits all, right? But then even the, yeah. I send Maxine a Instagram DM. So my wife and I are contemplating some pieces and that one looks really, really interesting, but I had some questions about it and you respond, no problem. Let's jump into Zoom or let's jump on a FaceTime, right? Whatever you want to do, whatever is easiest for you uh, and, and let's talk it through, right? Like, you know, being able to do that instantaneously and just get on video and interact, like you just shorten the sales cycle so incredibly, you can bust so many objections. And so, yeah, I want you doing it in all venues imaginable. Like if you've got the best Instagram following, start there and do that, right? One thing that I've noticed is mm -hmm. people act like they're interested. And they're not interested, I know. That's, that was, that was the advice like, yeah, that I gave I to Alan. Yeah, I want to get on FaceTime, or yeah, I need to buy a bunch of art for my new house. And then mm -hmm. it forces me to feel like I have to be like, constantly following up with them you do and i try to not be you know too sales pushy um because that's just my personality that's my personality but, too you just you need to learn a couple of things i i really need to get some art in my house great let's set up an appointment yeah and then shut up or i love your work right it's incredible great it's all for sale which one do you want to buy and then shut up again and then shut up again. Right. Like it's just those short little things and then be quiet. Cause then, then you'll know. Yeah. Immediately. I'm, well, the last thing I said to one of them was like, I don't want to keep bugging you because every time I kept reaching out back to her, she's like, Oh, I'll get back to you. So-and-so is helping me with this decor for my house, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to stop bugging you. You let me know when you're ready. Yeah. And I, and, and there's totally, there's totally, um, times when you when you do have to pump the brakes like that but the good news is is that like once you once you start learning how to market and market consistently no matter what yeah. you're getting them right because yeah. once you reach a certain level of sales we advise all our customers run facebook and instagram ads and even if they're not even on your email list because they visited your site because they're in the pixel they're just constantly seeing you so they're seeing maxine george every single solitary time that they go on instagram every single solitary time they go into facebook and it's just one of those little hey i'm still here yeah i'm still here i right? think the stories are great yeah the stories are great too how do you go how do you go about selling all your work now i mean is this your is this your gallery you're in right now I have a new brick and mortar gallery where I have my art, but all the art that you see behind me is other artists that I'm representing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm doing like, uh, I have, I just had the first featured artist show. And then I have like a mix of other artists that are kind of on like consignment. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm an artist run gallery. Mm -hmm. um, I have, you know, I've been a part of a lot of galleries and I don't want to that that gallery model that you're talking about sure. i try to take a little bit of a different angle on it mm -hmm. um i have really good relationships with the artists and i give them a little bit of a greater percentage and you know i'm just trying to stay you know I, i'm good with collaborating and uh relationships good i love that and you've got a killer spot to run live art shows in i mean what's what's the internet what's the internet connection speed there Open up, um, open up a browser. Open up a browser. I'm going to show you what it looks like, but I want you to tell me right okay. now because this is curious. So if I get this up, and this is just a little trick of the trade. So okay. just type, type um, internet speed test. You're, you're clearly artsy because you're on a Mac, aren't you? Do you use Chrome to browse? Um, I'm on Chrome, but I'm actually on a Google Surface right now. Yeah, that's okay. It'll still, it'll still do it. Just type in yeah. type on, Chrome, on Chrome, type internet speed test and then okay, run yeah, this run thing. Speed test. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so run it right now and tell me what you got. And don't compare yourself to um, mine. I have the all powerful going. psychos fast internet speed. Mine's crazy. This is while I'm live streaming. It's, and uh, 67.2 Down. Mbps download. And then what is it up? I'll, put, I'll tell you that up next. Oh. 19.0 yeah that's good enough you could run in there you could run in there as long as the signal strength is strong you could you could totally do a live art show in there today not only that if you yeah. got really good at it you could do it for all of your artists and you would become like the yeah guru that's what i mean i've i've tried to i've done it a couple of times like but when we've had this first featured artist show we had we did a little live at the beginning and mm -hmm. it kind of went wacky on my instagram so then we got on his and mm -hmm. unfortunately instagram like froze up and blah blah but, um, you know, I'm trying to do lives with all the artists when I can, or at least like go live and hear by myself. Yeah. I'm, I'm setting myself a goal to do it at least like once a week, once a week, once a day or that. Yeah. 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 Once a day. And yeah, so there's, there's, there's a ton of good stuff you could learn. So what, so what drove you to us just out of curiosity? 
Uh, I've all, I mean, I get y'all's emails all the time. Mm -hmm. And I, so I just, you know, like to listen to your podcast when I can, and I, I am always loving to learn things. So I'm always, uh, like to listen to you when I can. Cool. Cool. Yeah. We could certainly you've always got a lot of good info. Yes, I do. I appreciate you saying that. I, that, that sounds arrogant saying that, but there's just, there's not a lot of people that just try to do this all day long. You know, you try to do this all day long and then you have, we're over 60, 100 customers now. And now I just look at their data and that's where it's like so many things have changed in the last like five or six years, like where you hear something that like makes sense and then you see it play out 25 times and you're like, oh, this is totally awesome. This is totally awesome. And so you, you can, you can make calls, which I think is, you know, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool being at this for a while, but we can help you. You should get a demo and you could put the whole gallery site on our software too. You know that. Yeah. You're like, yeah. I, know, I, know, I know. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We'll get going on the lives. Look at the, look at the guy, right. look at the guy that I'm going to send you to. Did you see that? Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. 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 My pleasure. And good questions. All right. I love seeing the gallery background cause it's just such a cool spot to do one. Right. And you know, I showed it, I think I showed it earlier. I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up again. Hold on. It'll just take me, but there's, there's, there's something that's just so cool about, you know, being, being in the actual gallery and like walking through and doing doing the live art show and on my on my buddy Matthews you know I I did it with him so if we if we look at the videos on here you'll actually hear me yapping in the background but there's something that's so powerful about you know walking through the show and here I've got it okay you're live on all of them Matthew you can kind of just so walking through the show and like you know he's talking about his work people are asking questions like you can see which pieces have the red dots on them meaning they already sold so you're starting to build up some of that fomo fomo is fear of missing out right um and and you know you could really it, it's just the next best thing like he's got a glass of wine people are chiming in you could see how talented he is like you can see what i mean the red dots on this one it's like this one sold right but for most people it's pretty damn hard to get an art gallery uh, uh, backdrop unless they're in an art gallery and then they got to work everything out. So again, okay, Maxine, you got that all day long. <laughs> all you got to do is open the door and turn it on. Right. And so it's so you could crush it. So that's what I'd say. That's what I would say on that. Um, yeah. And you got a comment from YouTube tips for artist owned galleries, time to create and be an artist simultaneously. The e gallery. I think you need to follow Maxine. What's your Maxine? What's your, um, your Insta handle? Hold on, I got it. I got it. Well, throw it. Throw your Insta handle in the chat, and then E Gallery. You should follow Maxine because it seems like she's got it figured out. Here it is. I'm putting Maxine's Instagram handle. It's right there at the bottom. You can't probably can't see that E Gallery. I'm gonna go ahead and put it here in YouTube for you, and then you can see it. So boom, there it is. You're sorted, dialed. All right. Um. Okay. So I think Robin had a bunch of questions. Robin, you had so many questions. I don't even. I mean, I have to unmute you. Go ahead, Robin. And you'll need to unmute Robin, microphone icon, bottom left-hand corner. The e-gallery is okay. following you. Hey, Robin. Um, yeah. Hey, how are you? Good. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate um, all of these Zooms that you have. Um, yeah, I pleasure. think one question I had was about like IG Live and using that as um, the live art show. And you were saying that's fine to do. No, all day. Because I was like, all I... Yeah, one of the best places. Yeah, I was concerned about engagement, like signing up to a Zoom link. You need to, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, like when you're just getting started, it's embarrassing when you do the Zoom link and there's no one in there, right? Yeah. I mean, you, can, you, can, you, can do the, you can do the webinar and no one will see, but on Instagram, it doesn't matter. The, the, the one thing for Instagram, though, is it, it, it's, it really, really does help to have um, some sort of wireless things, you know? It, you, don't have to, you don't have to have the Apple ones or the whatever, whatever other ones, but it's, it's super helpful to have them because then you can walk around and you're free and you're not worried about being heard. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing was with my – I use Squarespace to make my website, and now it mm -hmm. has the option to, like, I guess, I don't know, do Instagram shop or something, yeah, like no, link don't. it to the site. No, don't. Oh, okay. Thank you. I was like, should I yeah, be doing that? Don't. No, don't do it don't do it you would, you would much rather have them on your website on home court advantage you know then okay then, then and, and it's just i mean it's not even a knock on facebook and instagram as i'm streaming on their platforms but you know the art buying experience is pretty crappy in their little stores it's it's nowhere near as, as compelling an experience as it would be on your website so try to drive to your website okay thank you yeah. um the other question i had was 
how do I go about like building an audience off of social media platforms? Um, is it just through the vendor shows? I mean, like the no, art it's, markets it's, and stuff. It's it's everything. To be honest with you, like you know, you need to be posting regularly. You need to get that profile built out correctly. And then you constantly need to be asking for email addresses. You occasionally need to do print giveaways. You need to start eventually once you sold enough running ads, uh, driving the traffic back to your website. Constantly getting it on your email list. Um, okay. It can be helpful to harvesting emails out of the DMs, like one at a time. Like, hey, where can I email you? Right, boom, you got it. Like all of it's important. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, I haven't yet done a giveaway. I think I probably should do that. You probably should um, do that. It's really effective. <laughs> um, one of the things you mentioned was selling um, your prints with frames. I haven't done that because I like just started like my business like six months ago. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know how to even like package them well to send them off. And I was concerned about like pricing because my cash flow right now is like not steady. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know if I could sustain doing that. But um, I just wanted to know, should I do it anyway? Um, bu 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 tell me that again. Should you just the framing? Be until... selling my prints with frames. Yeah, I mean, like when you're just getting started, it's not going to make you or break you. So don't worry. Um, but, you know, you want to you want to sell the thing that goes on the wall, right? Like mm -hmm. it's you, you need to sell the thing that goes on the wall. That's just critically important. And so as long as you keep that in the back of your head, you'll be fine. But early on, yes, you can you can incentivize with some prints and it won't be the end of the world. That's OK. OK. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The other thing was. Uh, I guess the last two questions I had was one was like I did a hand illustrated um, coloring book, like an ebook, mm -hmm. and I was not certain how I should promote that. I was going to give some of them out for free to like the library mm -hmm. and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but um, for like the kids section or whatever. But I don't know if you have any feedback on like how to promote. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could, you could offer it as a free gift for anyone that opts into your email list, you know. Oh, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, yeah. dope, dope. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Um, great. And then the last question I had was, you had mentioned, um, like some of the better artists as far as like marketing have their website on their um bio mm -hmm. and Instagram. Mm -hmm. And I've used Linktree sometimes. I vacillate between my actual website and Linktree. Yeah. But I noticed that Linktree sometimes, like today, it's down because they're doing maintenance. So. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty infrequent. I mean, we we okay. we we roll one, so we basically have <laughs> programmed one for our customers that they can use for free, which is this one that I showed earlier. Like, you know, it's not quite as pretty as Linktree, but it's on her website already. So we do that as sort of a hack, and obviously it's formatted and great for mobile. But you know, if you look at if you look at us, we use it. Let me just see if it's down or not. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Let's see. Is it down? Don't be down. Boo! It is down. It is down. Um, yeah, it's pretty infrequent. I don't. I don't. I don't think it's gonna okay. make it or break it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> I think that's all. Yeah, Thank right. you. Thanks, Robin. All right, Earl, you're up next. Go ahead, Earl. You'll need to unmute Earl. Microphone icon, bottom left hand corner. You just have to click it once. Gotcha. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, sure can. Okay. Um, let's see, where do I start? One, I'm one of the retired guys. I've retired. <clears throat> I was an industrial electrician for 45 years okay. and amateur photographer for all of those years. But anyway, um, got into wildlife. And of course, I was naive and thought all I needed to do was get an Instagram site. Mm -hmm. And then recently, I looked at y'all's site and in some webinars and thought, well, it's a little bit more intense than I wanted to be. But then I tried, um, what is it, uh, Squarespace, mm -hmm. and I couldn't even get that to work. I mean, yeah. I was having all kinds of time. So, you know, I'm actually doing a uh, demo after this, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm interested in, in more. But I'm coming from... Uh, I'm learning because I just got back from Africa from a safari, a photo safari, and I'm learning that I'm not even sure. I thought it was wildlife, but I also like landscapes and I, I like different things. But anyway, um, 
I'm still trying to find my niche yeah. where I, where I want to be. Yeah. And at the same time, um, I'm not a say everything in your documentation that you give is true. I'm not a salesman. Yeah. I, I'm not a website builder. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I mean, you know, I guess, I guess you know, I have to admit, I'm probably starting right down here on rung one or two. Uh, the pictures are not the problem. The, the, the website is a real challenge. Yeah. Well, the, the good, the good news is they have packages. You could just pay us to build it for you if you want. Well, that's what y'all did send me a one that offered to build one for me. So I, yeah. I'm interested in that. I'm talking to, I think it's Christine out of Texas okay. and I've got a demo with her, but, um, yeah, I'm real. Even when I read about your website be, to begin with, I really like the training behind it. And oh, it's the most, it's the most important thing. It's, and, yeah. yeah. And I'm getting it. Yeah. And what you're saying, I just want to say it for people that are listening what he's saying is real true because a lot of people with a lot of websites and they're not moving any pictures. Yeah. So nobody has a website problem is, is another way of saying it, right? Like, you know, if I was the genie and I came out of a lamp and whoosh, you know, I will put your website wherever you want it to be. Snap. What changes in your business? Nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing because you have to fix it. You have to get, you got to get some attention to the website. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got to sell it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, so but guess what? Guess you're re you're please. retired and you got time. You and Alan both, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, assume, assuming. Well, I do, but I don't want to spend all my time messing with a website. No, either. you don't. Nor should you. And, and the problem I get into is I get to a, I desk with computers in my career, mm -hmm. but I hate when you get to a wall and you don't know where to go from there. Yeah. See, that's, that's what I did on Squarespace. I got some pictures entered and then I couldn't manipulate them like I wanted to. Yeah, our, yeah, our support yeah. is next level. That's that's one of the good things. Like you can get somebody yeah. on a Zoom call, or they'll make you videos, or they'll chat, or they'll even do phone calls, and they'll get they'll get you unstuck so quickly. Okay, I guess I guess that's all. I just wanted to let everybody know that here's somebody else retired and fumbling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so true. It's all it's a, it's all part of it. I'm fumbling still. Trust me, the fumbling never stops. <laughs> it's just, are, are we making forward progress whilst we're fumbling, right? Yeah. And, you know, it, it, it looks simple in the beginning. It looks like, you know, you just, like I said, I thought all I had to do was in, an Instagram site would take care of all this. But, yep. Boom. Um, Done. I got two Instagram sites. Yeah. That's like having two kids instead of one. Just <laughs> compare it down to one. Easier to watch. But all right. Enjoy, en enjoy your demo today, Earl. And I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Arnold, you're up next. Go ahead, Arnold. Oh, boo, you're unmuted. You're unmuted, but I can't hear you, Arnold. My guess is, is that you probably have the wrong audio source selected. So if you look that tiny little arrow to the right of the microphone, click that thing, and it should tell you select a microphone. How did, yep. How's that? Boom, done. Okay, sorry about that. No, all good. Okay, well, anyway, Earl, I'm, I'm with you. I'm retired also and fumbling. Um, so and let's talk, can you talk a little bit about the, the attention and acquisition side a little bit more? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I don't, I'm on Instagram. I don't have 250 plus, uh, followers. Yeah. So, you know, I, I understand about the variety of different kinds of posts mm -hmm. that will, you know, trigger people to want to launch it to my website, but let's start at the beginning. How do you get those followers? And, yeah. You know, in terms of the leads that I would need in order to do the email campaign. Um, you talked about you have in-house services. So is there something that you offer that can sort of kickstart all that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, we offer all of it, but I can, I can speak to it more strategically too. Um, if that would help you in the short term and it's, you know, it's a chicken and the egg situation early on totally is right. Like, you know, how do you get there? Which came first, all of that. And y y you just have to tell yourself early on, it sucks early on. Okay. You build followers, one follower at a time. You, you capture email addresses, one email at a time. We have some pretty hacky ways of, of doing it. And you know, like, like what I was explaining to Robin earlier is win a print of my latest work, such and such this, you know, four by 16 acrylic, which is normally $499. All you have to do is put your email in the box and I'm going to announce the winner on Friday. 
Friday comes along, you announce the winner, you've captured 75 email addresses, and then you email everyone on the list, and you're like, hey, everybody, Steve won. Congratulations, Steve. Give me your information. I'll ship it to you. For everyone else, because I don't win anything either, I'm going to go ahead and give you 15% off the store till Friday. Expires Friday. And shut up and see what happens, right? And so oftentimes you'll generate enough sales with even just one of them to um, more than cover the, the, the cost of offering the prints. But like the small prints are super cheap anyway. You do that consistently throughout the year. Consistently. And, that, and that's very, very effective at getting the drop in the bucket. We also have some hacky type of lead generation schemes that we execute with charities in which you partner with a charity, you donate some work, they email their entire list about it, you run, you run a very similar uh, uh, marketing activity in which you know to enter to win these prints, get on the list, or there's a couple other ways that we do it. We sometimes buy raffle tickets, um, and that can be extremely effective. And you'll find that when you actually start marketing consistently and you do it correctly, you're gonna start building more followers organically on your own. And then you sort of just spin the machine up and while it takes a little while to spin it up and it's annoying and it's frustrated, once it gets going, there's a natural entropy to it and it moves, right? It really does become a flywheel. And so, you know, at a macro, you have to be capturing emails all year long. And we teach you a bunch of different ways to do that. You have to be emailing those emails all year long. You have to be posting on the socials regularly. You have to be occasionally having run live art shows. You have to have a sale when the time is right in that time of year. And if you actually start doing that all consistently, you 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 benefit from just that entire flywheel going because anything that gets sucked into your ecosystem is not going to immediately bounce for a lack of activity. And I know I know that sounds daunting, but it's just you take a couple of months, you start spinning it up, you figure it out, and you stay at it consistently, and it all starts happening. And all our customers would tell you that too. But but right. I don't sugarcoat it. It still sucks early on. You have to learn how to do this, and you're you know there's going to be some hair pulling out of your head early on, but. We, we do a very, very good job of sort of supporting you along, uh, along the way. And there's also something like sort of like the Zoom session that we're having right now. We have these internally like five days a week on different topics and such. And so it really helps when, you know, you're in a peer group of people going through the same thing at the same time. Because then you end up making friends in there. And then and, and, and you and Earl are in there. And Earl's like, this sucks. And you're like, I know it sucks for me too. But guess what? Last week I did it. And I got such and such out of it. And, you know, you got a little boost in your emotional reservoir. And then you tell Earl. And then three months later or two months later, you're in a down spot. And Earl just got a little win. And so he tells you. And so having, like, the cohort really, you know, co cohort-based learning, like going through with a group of your peers, is, it, it, it's a big deal. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. All right. Who else, guys? Questions? Comments? Concerns? I feel like I've talked myself into circles today. All right, I want to see this comment. This is a big one. I'm going to get my fat head. Been a fan of your program for a couple of years. Thank you, Rick. That's awesome. I've had a demo last year. It was taking a while to build up some inventory. That done, I've updated my website. I'm a master woodworker. Very cool. Myself, custom furniture, architectural millwork. Da, 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 da. This is one of the one I believe would benefit from our storefronts. Please schedule a demo to review my view. Okay. Um, Rick Underhill, Eddie Prohl, you make sure he gets on the list. We'll have somebody contact you, Rick. Easy enough. Um, but thanks for the kind words. I appreciate you. I took myself out of the picture there. Sometimes I press these buttons too much. Um, what else, guys? Questions? Could be about anything. Anything about anything? Otherwise, I will. Um, yeah. So Juniper is asking what the investment is to come on board with Art Store Friends. They 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 get super granular into the pricing on the demo. Um, I usually don't go super into specifics, but I can tell you certainly at a high level. The way to think about what we do is we're one part. Um, website company, and then we're one part graduate university that teaches art, photography, business, and marketing. And the, you know, the, the learning really ne never does stop. We have an entire army of people that just teach you all year long how to grow this business, and it never stops. And so, like a website company, you pay a monthly fee, and you pay a one-time tuition to get into the university. It starts at a thousand bucks, and the monthly fee I think is forty-nine dollars a month on the cheaper plan. There's plans with a couple more bells and whistles, but on all the plans, you get hundred percent of the education, and it's really it's it, it it's, it's the it's the secret sauce. It's the whole ball game, because you know everyone goes and gets a website here and uploads their work here and uploads their work here and does all this. And where do they ever get? They get nowhere, right? Um, so that's what I would say. Ooh, and everybody's got to watch Maxine's Instagram. Are you literally going to do it right now, Maxine? Are you going to turn it on right now? Hold on. This will be funny. I want to do this. Unmute for just a second. 
right yes, now. I'm going to go do it right now. Okay, turn it on. I'm going to be watching. Your, I'm going to be watching that Instagram profile, and we are all going to see how it's easy. Maxine Orange. Yeah, I had to hear it. Maxine Orange. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is going to be super fun. You know, one of the one of the things I've realized as I've done this for a little while is people people get terrified of doing this, right? So even just having Maxine do this here will be a big deal because no one ever does it, right? So let's see, it'll, it'll, it'll take her a second and hold on, I'll pull it up. I, I realize I was just getting it already. Hold on, let's see. This will be really fun. Hold on, hold on, where did it go? Bear with me, folks. I got so many buttons and windows and things and zooms on this, where, there it is, I got it. Okay, get my fat head out of the way. She should be live by now. Not yet. Let's just see. I actually wonder if I can show it on. Of course, it lost. I wonder if it's going to let me see it on. Oh, there it is. Hi, guys. I'm just waiting for a few people to hop on before I go live today. Just going to do a little virtual gallery show. Thought it would be a great. Uh, afternoon to do a little live so thanks for everybody for hopping on um hold on i'm gonna flip the camera around hi i'm gonna start doing these more regularly what's happening everybody um so let me give you a little tour of the gallery we had an awesome uh pop-up shop this past weekend and um still kind of in the middle of cleaning up a little bit but um, it's Monday, and I want to show you all around. In case anybody's shopping for some art, this is a great place to hang out. So here we go. Right now we've got um, the featured artist in my gallery right now is Harley Van Heining. He's a local to this area where I live, and he's best known for this sea life-inspired art. He's what you call a geotaku artist. So all of these... Do you see how quickly she did that though? Do you see how quickly that was with just turning the phone on and going for it? And because she's got that gallery, like how compelling does it look in there? And it, it, it just goes to show you how quickly you can do um, this. Is a waterman of sorts. He's a surfer and fisherman and has great uh, relationships with a lot of the charter boat captains. And So one of the keys, one of the keys after you finish it is you finish it, it does some processing and it allows you to save the video, okay? And, and once you save the video, you can then share it with your feed. And then what's really cool is I can show you on our end. You know, this is one of the other things that I've, I'm very proud to hang my hat on. I'm not sitting here telling you to do things. I don't do all the time, okay? I do these all the time and it's not for my health. I hate being on video. They're just insanely effective, right? So. You can see you can see how this one is is embedded right in our feed, and so after the live broadcast is done, you're like, well, wait a minute, you know, what? I only have two people tuning in. I don't care if you have two people tuning in because the minute you're done, you save it into your feed, and I come onto your feed, and boom, I can watch it, right? So I can watch the entire 30 minute thing here where you're talking about this, that, or the other, right? And so it's just insanely effective. It is just one of the most effective ways to sell art, period. And it doesn't matter. This is like the, the dirty little secret of it all. It doesn't matter if only your mother is watching. I lost her in Maxine. If only your mother is watching it. Because after the fact, after the fact, a whole bunch of people are going to see it. And then not only that, after the fact, I lost her hair. Um, people are going to come to your site and they're going to look at it and they're going to be like, oh, that was super interesting. That was incredible. Um, it was Maybe one of the I first ones that, that gallery, he did right? of this collection. We actually um, sold a commission at a smaller size of this just the other day. The cameras on the iPhones are so insane too that like, you know, the, the, the quality is just there. And then everyone gets this notification. So ideally when she's done, we'll see that she saves it. If not, I'll send her an email and explain to her how to do it. But it's just, it's, it's the future full stop. And I mean, some of, the, some of the numbers that I've seen from doing this have just been absolutely staggering. But anyway, um, that was kind of fun to end it with a little with a little um, live show and jump in there, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, all right, I think we leave it there, guys. If if you know if this is the first time you've seen us, no worries, we're not going anywhere. But if you've been sucked into our ecosystem or followed us for any time or just found us today, highly recommend you go see a demo. Oh, look at how funny this is! Now you can see her doing it. Hold on, this is just cool. 
<laughs> you can see she's she's just walking through the gallery there with the phone in her hand, right? And then we can we can toggle right to the Instagram version. There's just something cool about technology sometimes. Let me just see. Get this. Going. All of these wood items. These are cutting boards, great for charcuterie boards. Um, amazing little gifts. Lots of little. Oh, weird she said she was terrible things. at selling. She's not this terrible at selling. Cool thing we got that you can. Isn't that cool uh, to have the two angles? Hold some wine glasses and stuff. And uh, oh, that's very cool. Anyway, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the live show and tell. But yeah, highly recommend you get a demo. It's a test drive. It's one on one. It goes like an hour. It's a Zoom session like this. You get to see all the bells, all the whistles, all the plans. I know some of you guys already have them scheduled, but that, that's a that's a great next step. And you know, fundamentally, a large part of this business is about normal marketing sale. Normal marketing sale. The next big sale coming up is um, is Mother's Day, and it's a big one. And you know, a ton of art is sold on Mother's Day, believe it or not. So, very very good day to be contemplating it. And there's time to get up, running, ready, and get going on your marketing. So. That's what I would say. Really fun session today. That was super. That was super interactive. I kind of enjoyed that. Uh, oh, you'll instantaneously see this thing following you around as an ad. But I'm also going to send you. I'll send you um, this video and the presentation and everything else. Uh, like I said, that, you know, there's a complete. There's a complete startup guide, and I know. I know still some of you, a bunch of you guys joined late, so don't worry. I'm going to send you. Um, it'll be this. You know, the session talking about all the various different things that we talked about. And then all the links to all those things that I mentioned, and we'll throw in any additional links. Um, and again, I have a guide in here on how to run a live art show, the, the quick start guide. And this thing's awesome. I'm telling you, like detailed step-by-step -step instructions. Like, oh, Patrick, I've never been live on Instagram before. How do I do it? I walk you through the entire thing step-by-step. -step. You know, I'm not even sharing my screen. Why are you guys not telling me this? Doggone it. So if you, if you look at this thing, like in depth, like I'm sending this to you in, in this page that I'm sending you, how to run a live art show. You get onto this page, okay? And it walks you through literally everything that you need. I'm explaining the whole thing. I'm like, here is like an in-depth, 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 how to go live on Instagram. Every single solitary button push, okay? From start to finish, this takes two seconds. You wanna do it on Facebook? Here it is on Facebook. Um, Juan, one of my colleagues here is explaining how you do it on Facebook on the phone. You guys all have a phone. You could all do this today. How quickly did we see her do it, right? How quickly did we see Maxine do it? She did it in two seconds. And, it, and it's just super, super effective. So that's what I would say. Um, but I'll send you guys, I'll send you guys this. And yes, I see you, Les. Hold on. Les is asking like, hey, how do I get a link to that on, on YouTube? I will leave a link. I don't know if YouTube lets me leave links, to be honest with you, Les. Um, I, think, I think YouTube actually blocks it. I'm going to try and send this to you, but we'll see whether or not it works or not. Um, but here you go. All right. Last, that should do it. If that works, if it does, if YouTube doesn't let you click on it, you might just need to, you know, do something with it. I don't know, copy it or whatever. But all right, guys, I think we leave it there. I appreciate you all. Um, thanks for hanging out. Hope to see you on the inside in future session. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll we'll see you later.